Hello, and welcome to Feed the Ultimate Beast with me, the most happy one, aka Mr. Sarrett. So last episode we built this weird little room. A mob grinder room using Mine Factory Reloaded. The pipes, gold pipes, are still behind the wall there. Well, they're not behind the wall. They're behind the facades. So, yep, they're just covered up, but everything else is the same. Well, almost. <laughs> I've added two more mob spawners up the top there. Both zombies, one an angry zombie and one a normal zombie. And that's basically just to increase the production of monster essence. I've also taken out the torch I had in there which allows mobs to spawn in there. Um, I haven't actually had any mobs spawn in there apart from what's up the top here but eh, the option's there for them now can't hurt. Any mob that spawns in there will die anyway, so... Uh, today I've got a few things I want to do, all with uh, mine factory reloaded. And the first thing is, with that monster essence, we've got a fair bit coming in. Looks like a lot. 479,000. It's really not all that much, to be honest. Not for the machines that we plan on using. Now just down here I have a little room and I was asked quite a long time ago if I could make one of these items an auto enchanter and I don't really use many enchants but yeah so I never did back then but um, I've got all this monster essence we may as well may as well give it a shot. So the auto enchanter you need the plastic sheets we made last episode, the factory machine block we made last episode, two diamonds and three books. So we'll take you and we'll plonk you down right here. The enchanter does need, the auto enchanter does need the monster essence. Here's the tank where it holds it and it also needs power. It uses a fair amount of power to enchant any item. Uh, this bar here is the progress bar, so we will be also, we will see this one here going up as well. Very slowly though, you can change the level of the enchant. You can also put items in here to be enchanted. Obviously we can't enchant a wrench, but items can be put in there to be enchanted. Not too sure, maybe... No, then I say we can't be enchanted. The other item, of course, that can be enchanted is a book. So we put the book in there. Now you'll see, it uses up a lot of monster essence for very little progress. Yeah. Oh, wrong button there. So this does take quite a while to get through and quite a lot of monster essence. Again, wrong button. There we go, right click. Another thing with the auto enchanter at the moment, it um, it has a few bugs. One of the bugs reported is stacking items in here. When you stack items in here, or if you put an item in here when there's an item down the bottom, so once this is fully enchanted it'll pop out at the bottom here you can lose items, they disappear you can... yeah, so originally I did want to pump items in here using pipes and or target gates which I haven't actually built yet on this server but and then I wanted to pump them back out I'm not 100% certain if it's doable but I do know that with the bug Chances are I'd probably end up losing a few items. We're going to leave this one here running. Not sure that we're going to have it finished by the end of the episode, but maybe. We'll go off and we'll do a couple more things. Now, you may have noticed I have a little bit of fuel here. I have been playing around with refineries, which we have down the bottom there. We've also got oil coming in. Not much oil, so I may actually just cut out for a second. Yeah, well, in a second I'll cut out. Once I show you this over here, and get a little bit more oil in. 
Oops. There we go. Now what we have here, more mine factory reloaded machines. These are oil fabricators. Now these things use a crazy amount of power for very little oil. In fact, they're pretty much not worth it. <laughs> so yeah, not worth it at all. You get for using buildcraft energy, because oil makes buildcraft energy. Well, what I'll be using it for anyway. You need 600 Minecraft jewels to make one bucket. One bucket of oil generally will make, depending on where you use it, 600 Minecraft jewels. So pretty much you get a one for one. For every bucket of oil you make, you can make a bucket of oil. The way that this here becomes uh, cost effective is if you use steam power, a uh, steam boiler, liquid of course, you can, you'll make a little bit over eight, between eight and nine hundred Minecraft joules per bucket of fuel. So if we refine oil into fuel and then we get ourselves a steam boiler, which should know by now is my preferred method of energy production. I don't really care much for solar. It's just too easy, too boring. But yeah, it can be uh, cost effective if you have a steam boiler and you need, well, you need a decent setup for that. So maybe, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just use the excess energy that we're producing here to make a bit of oil and then fuel just for the fun of it. But anyway, the oil fabricator. Made like so. More of those plastic sheets. More of those factory machine blocks. You also need some TNT and some obsidian. So we'll grab a few of these. Now these here, obviously, they can be run off uh, IC2 power. There you. It uses 1.5 million per bucket so not not really worth it I guess uh, oh I already had one okay I got an extra so we'll have six of these going they're pumping into an ender tank and we're probably using up all the power now are we we are just just holding on this is middle of night as well so during the day won't be a problem so we'll keep we'll keep six of them going I didn't really want that one totally forgot that I had it so let's head down here and just have a look at how it's coming through so yep we've got the ender tank here very very slowly we are getting oil Mm hmm so I will be back in oh <laughs> looking at this a few hours and we will start refining this let's be back very soon okay we are back and we've got a little bit of oil not much but took a long time to get this much so and we've lost our lever I had a few problems with water coming down through here Yep, still still gaining excruciatingly slowly. I feel like it's a bit dark down here, but anyway, let's move on down here. Now down here is where I'm going to be refining my oil into fuel with the plan to eventually turn it into steam power. I don't often use liquid steam boilers, but we'll give it a go, won't we? Anyway, refinery. Very simple to make. Already got three of them here. Going to use four all up. Redstone torch, tanks, and diamond gear. Redstone torch. Everyone knows how to make a redstone torch. Should make know how to make a tank as well. Just glass like a furnace. 
And the gold gear is, of course, diamonds around her. The gold gear is needed to make the diamond gear, sorry. The diamond gear is a gold gear with diamonds around it. Simple enough. Diamond gear, well... Diamond gear is the iron gear with gold, etc, etc, until you get down to the wooden gear. But anyway, let's grab that refinery. Four all up. We're going to plonk them down along here. Refineries do need power. They need about 10,000 buildcraft, or buildcraft, yep, buildcraft, minecraft jewels, to turn one bucket of oil into fuel. So all up we're spending in Minecraft jewels 610,000 Minecraft jewels to make one bucket of fuel. One bucket of fuel in the steam, the uh, steam boiler is going to make 872,736 Minecraft jewels. So I will come out on top. It's not really best way to do it, but I haven't done this before, so this is how we're going to do it. Okay, hopefully we've got enough liquid duck. We may not. But the liquid duck we need, obviously, to feed our oil in here. Need you to be an out, and we need a lever. Alright, so straight away these are starting to work. Remember when you put them down, put the oil going into the double tank side, you can see there's kind of three tanks and the single tank with the two things pumping that's where the fuel is pumped out of now I am going to put red alloy wire going along here to a lever there, you'll see why in a sec liquid ducts we're going to pump out of the front and we're going to put it straight into this tank here. Okay, now to get it out, change it, all these to out, liquid ducts. See the kind of little arrow pointing out. They then need a redstone signal. Of course, single lever. There we go. They should all be getting a signal from this here, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. Let's just check. This first one obviously is from this lever. Yep, we still got fuel coming out, so it's working. Is it? Yep. Good. So there we go. We have got oil. We're going to be using oil faster than we are producing it. So we may need to find a new way of collecting oil. I wouldn't mind getting into bees again. But we should also be gaining fuel. Which, of course, we are. Very good. So, we've got a new fuel source coming through. We've got... If we can get up here. A couple more. I can hear my golems going crazy. A couple more tanks full of different kind of liquids. Got some fuel, we got oil we did have before, but now we've got constant stream of it coming in. The lava now mine factory reloaded also has one of these, a lava fabricator. Now these produce lava of course. It's not really worth it though. It takes well what is it, twenty Minecraft jewels? to make a single bucket of lava and a single bucket of lava will make 20 minecraft jewels 20, 20? 20,000 minecraft jewels so you can produce the exact amount that you need to make it that's kind of like using cobblestone in your magma crucible so yeah kind of kind of pointless <laughs> really I guess if you need lava and you've got excess energy why not but anyway, that's the episode. We got a bit done today. We got a use for our monster essence. We haven't checked to see if we've got that book made. I actually put a couple of books through, so I, I know it has worked. 
And our latest book is done. Excellent. Now this is another thing with the Auto Enchanter that I did not point out before. It will add more than one enchant to a book. Totally random. You may get... This book may have had Fire Protection 3 and that was it. Obviously it's also got Power 4 and Sharpness 3. That's an odd combination. But... Um, Yay! <laughs> we've we've got a way of enchanting books with crazy. That's not it. That's it. With crazy combinations of enchants. Yeah. There we go. Full tank. Very little progress. But it's a fun new machine we haven't used before. All right. That's the episode, though. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.